Hi everyone, I want to show you a quick Canva tip that I picked up earlier today that I think will make your life easier if you're into customizing specific characters in your design. So this is a template in Canva. You can see it's a poster and when I select each individual character, since these were created by Canva, I have complete autonomy to change whatever color I want. So if I wanted to change this character's skin tone, I easily could as well as his clothes color, the color of his hair, that sort of thing. It works really well. But not all images work this way inside Canva. Take this design for example. When I select on the characters, I don't have the ability to customize anything. And I wanna be able to do that. So I'm going to show you a quick trick that will make this possible. So the first thing you have to do is take all of the characters that you wanna customize and copy them. Next, we're going to create a new page and I'm just going to paste those images on the page. Now I'm going to line them up. I'll just make this a little bit bigger, but I don't want to overlap or, or make it so it, it'll be difficult to kind of break apart because we are going to be cropping this, Im this image after we edit it. Okay, so everything that I want to edit is on this design. Now what I'm going to do, now I'm going to select share and then download. And I'm going to choose this option, PNG. I'm going to make this a transparent background, but I'm only going to select the page with the characters on it that I want to customize. So I'm going to select done and then download. So in just a few minutes, I'll be able to have a PNG file of these three images. Now to change the color, I'm going to have to go to a different website. The website is called Sumo Paint. You can find it at sumo.app. Okay, here we are. I don't have to sign in or create an account to do this. I'm just going to go to Open Paint. Now I'm going to go to File and Open From Device, and I'm going to select the file that I've recently downloaded. Here it is. These are all the characters with a transparent background. Now Sumo Paint is a lot like Photoshop, but you don't really need to even know Photoshop to do this. We're only going to really use one tool and that's right over here to the left-hand side. That is the Paint Bucket Tool. So let me start by changing the color of the shirt of these students at the top of the page. All I'm going to do is select the Paint Bucket Tool. I'm going to choose my color, how about purple? And I'm going to drop that anywhere where there is yellow, just like that. And I'm done. Let me change a few other things. I'm going to give this girl, uh, why not? I'll give this girl like a blue hairstyle. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. She now has a new hairstyle. And I'm just about done. So I'm going to do the same thing right over here with, with this girl. Now it's a little bit different because you can see there's a little bit of shading on this character. So it may make things a little bit complicated, but let's go ahead and try to change the skin color to maybe like a darker skin tone. Whoops. It doesn't look great, but you can see if I pick up maybe a lighter color, change some things around, it might work a little bit better. And now how about this group? Let me change this dress from that green color to yellow. Actually, that's maybe too bright. So that works good. This character here, again, let's change him. Let's give this character black hair. Let's give them all black hair. Why not? Okay, so once you have those colors changed the way that you want, once you have those characters customized um, to the, the colors that you want to use in your design, we'll just select File, and we're going to select Save. From here, it's going to download a PNG file of these characters with the new colors. Now I'm going to go to Canva. I'm going to upload that image. Okay, here is the original and this is the new one. So I'm just going to get rid of all of the other ones right over here. And here are my new characters. And now to replace these two students at the top, I can just duplicate this crop everything else out. I'm going to move this or cut it. Let's move this back to the top, kind of like this. Just like that. Same thing with this girl at the bottom left-hand side. I can just edit everything out or crop everything out. Cut, paste, And then our three students, I don't have to duplicate this because they only have one left. I'm just going to scroll down. Let me just kind of crop this. 
and I am done. So this is a quick way if you ever come across any elements, any graphics or photos that you want to change just one part of it, you can use sumo.app, use the paint bucket tool and change any color in that design. So hopefully this video will be helpful for you as you create any of your Canva designs. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below.